Hello, it's Eric from Strong Medicine, and in this video, I'll review some common abnormalities on the peripheral blood smear that can provide clues as to the etiology of a patient's anemia. The learning objective for this video is pretty straightforward. When working up anemia, after the MCV and reticulocyte count, the next most useful test is the blood smear, where the patient's whole blood is smeared across a glass slide, stained and dried, and then examined under a microscope. Sometimes the blood smear will show a pathognomonic finding that's diagnostic of something very specific, and sometimes it demonstrates a finding that points towards a specific category of disease. I'm going to review some of the more common findings. One of the first things to comment on is whether the smear looks hypochromic or normochromic, which refers to the color and degree of paleness in the red blood cells. Hypochromia means the RBCs look more pale than normal, which is a consequence of a decreased amount of hemoglobin, as oxygenated hemoglobin is what is responsible for the red color of an RBC. Hypochromia is the qualitative equivalent of a low mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, a frequently reported but generally ignored value on the CBC. The most common cause of hypochromia is iron deficiency, but it can also be seen in some thalassemias. A term that you might hear come up from time to time is megaloblastic, and a common mistake I've encountered is for students to use megaloblastic as a synonym for macrocytic, but these are not the same thing. Megaloblastic anemia is a subtype of macrocytic anemia in which a defect in DNA synthesis leads to a hypercellular bone marrow, unusually large RBC precursors called megaloblasts in the marrow, and hypersegmented neutrophils on a peripheral smear. Normal neutrophils have a nucleus that is divided into multiple lobes, but a nucleus that has six or more is pathologic. Some references also describe it as indicative of pathology if a significant number of a person's neutrophils have five lobes. Megaloblastic anemia is most commonly caused by vitamin B12 and folate deficiencies. Here we see many examples of schistocytes, which are the fragments of RBCs seen in microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. This smear contains many microspherocytes, characterized by their small size and lack of central pallor, meaning that instead of having the normal biconcave disc shape to them, some of these erythrocytes are spheres. This is typical for autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Spherocytes, not necessarily microspherocytes, but spherocytes in general, are also classic for hereditary spherocytosis. And here are sickled red cells seen in sickle cell disease. This slide also has many so-called target cells, in which extra membrane relative to cytoplasm results in a central protrusion in the biconcave disc, looking like a red dot in the middle of the central pallor. This is seen in sickle cell disease, as we see here, but also in a number of other disorders, such as thalassemia, so the presence of target cells is not quite as diagnostically helpful. Here is an example of a bite cell, which is when the spleen removes part of an erythrocyte. This is most commonly seen in G6PD deficiency, but can also occur in thalassemia. Basophilic stippling, the bluish-purple speckles within the cytoplasm of an erythrocyte, represents ribosome precipitates. This can be seen in thalassemia, alcohol abuse, and heavy metal poisoning. And last is a finding not seen on a peripheral smear, but rather on a bone marrow aspirate. These are ring sideroblasts, which are immature nucleus-containing red blood cell precursors in which iron-containing granules surround the nucleus. This is seen in various congenital disorders, myelodysplastic syndrome, the use of the anti-tuberculosis drug isoniazid, which can lead to a functional deficiency of vitamin B6, alcohol abuse, and copper deficiency. That's it for this video on clues from the blood smear. The next and final video in this series on anemia will cover the overall approach to making a diagnosis.